All right. <clears throat> I have a set of gas bow strings that I'm going to put on my Matthews um, B3X33. I uh, had a lot of problems trying to figure out, find any information on uh, reducing the turns on the limb pockets. Can't find anything, but the SAS system says to reduce it by four, so right at four turns uh, reduced. Using the easy green uh, bow press, the fingers are pushed all the way forward so that they don't contact the limb. They're only inside the V knot on the end of the limbs to uh, press the bow. <clears throat> I've got uh, two Allen wrenches. One's going to be used to take the cam off and the other one is used to loosen and tighten the limb bolts. The size of the small one is impossible to see. Five, five eight, 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 eight,
then you take and move the disconnect the bus cable from one side, move it back until your string portion, not the served portion, but the string portion is inside the roller, and you can pull it up past there and do your change. And so I'm going to have to pull this side apart, set this down, so I can get to the back roller, and I'll change it first, and then I'll come up and change this one next. So first, let's press. And one thing about it is you'll find that you'll press it, uh, put your string on, and your string is going to be tight. And you'll probably have to press it some more. So, but for right now, I'm just going to get this changed out. Now on the back side, you have a cam po a post that, that wraps around and hooks to a teardrop at the bottom of the cam here. I'm pulling it around the post, nice loose, I'm pulling it down, and I'm taking it off of the teardrop at the bottom of the cam. And see, my string is loose. Now, I'm trying to take care not to let this turn, because this string is already tuned, so I don't want to tune it again. I'm going to leave all this in place. Over. Now, I'm going to pull this back through. Right here, and here you we go. I'm going to work my hand. string out. So I'm just going to lay that down here. Let that hang. I'm going to come to the other end. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay, and dismiss it from the post or around this, this running around the post. Down. And I pull the tear, pull the, um, the loop uh, end off the teardrop. And again, I'm trying to take caution that I don't allow this to twist. I'm pulling back, and now I'm going to work this all the same way. Don't don't try to force it. Take your time and go easy. You don't you want to cut the, the string, especially uh, if you want to save it. If you don't want to save it, don't worry about it. You just got to be careful when you put it all back on again. So, now this side, I'm just going to drop it down through the riser. In place. There we go. Now, I'm going to grab another Allen wrench, but let me get this loose first. And I have a caliper set already. At five and a half inches. That's my measurement from my D loop to my center of my peep sight. And I already know what it is from the peep sight down to the kisser buttons. So, should only have to undo one side here. And I really ought to have a magnetic part say, but I do not. I have one, but it's out in my shop. You see, when we're not Okay, that's twisting back there, so I'm going to need a second. Allen wrench. Same size.
careful doing this that you don't mess up the threads. See, this has also what? been twisted, pre twisted by gas, so it's held in place. So, what I'm going to do is raise it up. And if you'll notice, the bearings are eccentric on the can. So, when we go back together, just make sure you're not trying to center everything up. You don't need to be. All right. So now we've got this. Let's take this string loose. This cable. I'm going to seat it in there, and I'm going to take this back out again, and put my yoke back on. Set it in the groove, and I'm not really concerned if it falls out of the groove right now. I just want to get it on there. Now I'm going to get this back. So we're going to go back in with the axle. Now, I'm kind of using the Allen key as a guide. Now, out here, there's a little shield, a little cover, like a, a washer. 
on the outside edge, and I've been trying to keep the Allen key in here because I couldn't pull it out. It's loose on the other side, but it's not loose over here, and I didn't want it to fall and lose it. So we rent. So. Now, this is what I believe my issue was. All right, I think my fingers are applying just slightly different pressures, so the limbs weren't perfectly aligned from side to side. So I'm pretty sure that is what my issue was. So I'm thinking that that. Uh, 
That shaft should just basically slip straight in and out. If you have problems, you have to tap it a little bit like I did, and your limbs aren't in perfect alignment, and I think that is going to be a problem like I just had. So, I already pressed the bow and pulled the string, so I'm going to have to deal with it. I might have to deal with it on the other side as well. It'll be where it'll be. Uh, using, anyway, using that Allen wrench to, uh, there we go, that's not going to get the Allen key slips, okay, now, grab a string, Not a string, bus cable. Alright, so. Well, for one another. Alright. Pull this out. It means if you have a fire jump, the bus stop of either sand or water. Like it. Or an old cable. String out of the way that keeps you getting in the way. Now, So, now, come down here and rehook this the same way. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is first put it on the little teardrop. Now, I'm going to rotate it. Plus cable on. So now, same thing on this end. Our friends, the gods, the rounds, whatever they are, they should be down. This one wasn't there as tight as the other one. the backup. Well, the inside tires, as soon as that's where it's right, it's already out. Between the gymnasium and the theater and then all the entertainment. 
Now, this video is going to be way longer than it needs to be. There's people that know what they're doing. That, oh, I said this. So don't be concerned. And these go both ways. Uh, doesn't matter. Logoed on both sides and all that good stuff. See how hard it's going to be to get this. Alright. 
All of this stuff will tighten up. Pretty much on its own. When you uh, unpress the boat. And we're back through there. Okay. So, again, I don't know if I can see very well. But the teardrop is down here. We're not connecting yet. It's really tight. The Z's. Both streams are served. Under a lot of pressure. I think they, they put a hundred pounds on the stream as they serve them. Now I put it back to here. And flip it around behind the post. over the top of that post and now that's kind of molded now that's that's wrong to get this string back on so you got to be careful you don't want to mess things up no, but i'm not putting the string back on so i'm not worried about it i'm up now i'm going to pull my main string off and then be careful not to let it twist down here Which these zebra strings, the I loops, are not served, but on the freak show gas strings, they serve. And that's always good to have that thing. Either you're floating along with the world as a fish. Serve. Or turn their swing around because they're kind of floating back to life. They're in two worlds. They know they're displeasing the Lord, but they're trying to serve it. I'm just going to set my old string down there. I'm going to go around the camp. Up through the yoke. On the string peg. Alright, now I'm not going to worry about trying to do much anything else. Let's get this side. Same thing. Go around. Up through the yoke. Try and lay it back down into the groove. This is uh, in, on, in the cam. Now, this is where I may have to press it some more. Because, you know, all this stuff is new, it's tight, it hasn't been settled in. Now, all this stuff has been stretched. And I don't know if anybody really realizes it, but oh, perfect. It's right on over. Um, Realizing it, but stretching strings is not actually stretching strings. Kind of, but not, not really. What is going on 
is they're taking up all the slack in the strings. Uh, where you may have one strand or another that's tighter than another. Over time, the tighter strand will stretch, literally, to compensate to where all the strands are the same. That's where you get string stretch. And eventually it settles and it stops until you start getting strands that break, then it stretches more. So that's kind of what stretch is. And it's not, if you're when they, when they serve everything under a lot of pressure, which I said they do it under 100 pounds of pressure. Okay, so now here, because my, my, because my uh, bus cables are loose, I was able to stick the string on that, but I need to press it just a little more. Go ahead and get my last yolk around. So on the, the start of the bus cable, the bus cable on the teardrop, it's here wrapped around, or it's here wrapped around all over a post and then travels out through here. The top bus cable goes from the bottom through the back um, roller guide to the yoke on the far bottom cam. And so the opposite happens from the bottom cam going through the outside roller to the yoke around the yoke strings on the top cam. Now I'm just kind of centering these strings all the way from the yoke ground. Probably self-centered or it's probably not that big a deal, but I just rather I bought it as best I can have everything in line, make sure you're in your groove. Uh, this this bus cable will go from the teardrop around the post and it starts in a cam track which is the rod that will uh, set your, your poundage and going. So make sure it's started in that. Now these crooked pieces and all that, that'll straighten out once you put pressure on. And of course the same is down here. Um, You start at the teardrop down here, it wraps around a post, comes over the top, underneath the mod, uh, and it slips into that that track, comes down to the front, to the yoke up here. The yokes look good, and then the string comes from the string, and it's marked S for string. The teardrop goes around through the track, the top goes all the way down. And wrapped and around the you know side over here that says yes for right string. Now let me check. The bus cables don't really say anything. So, but I mean, it's, it's obvious. It's obvious what's what. And what is even more obvious is that I put my string on upside down. So we're going to take the upside down string off. So I keep doing this, and I don't know why I keep doing this. Now, how do I know I put my string on upside down? It's very, very simple. The biggest giveaway is the peep sight locator. <laughs> it's at the bottom of the boat. So guys, don't be me. Be somebody smarter. Much, much smarter than me. This is done straight up. This is this is live. There's, there's no I figured this out ahead of time and I'm making it happen and no. No, I'm not. This is uh this is me messing up and you seeing it. So that maybe you don't mess up. Like me. Did the exact same thing on my Elite Encore, except it was the bus cables that I put in backwards, both of them. Oh, I hope the audio comes through. I did a video one time on my lathe. The 
audio worked great. And also it disappeared, and man, I got crashed. Dude, you just find you a camera and start making silent films? I lost the original video and couldn't redo it. So. <laughs> it was what it was. Unfortunately. So, here we go. Somebody, I don't know if it's back here or what, but put lock tight. I'm sorry, I know I'm blocking you guys. Um, Alright, now, one last check before I press. And these are wide on this bow. This this track right here in the beginning is super wide. And I, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't keep a bow from derailing, but I bet you Matthews has a lot less derailed bows because of this wide track at the top. Okay. Now, Now, I've got a good bit of pressure on it, and I watched an MFJJ video, and he said basically when you get it down to where you got tension on your strings, pull it up, so that if you got anything out of alignment, it'll, it'll pop, or it'll come off now instead of blowing up when you take your bow out. I'm not going to jerk it, because it is pretty loose in here, you can see, but it's under... It's pressure. This? But be careful when you do That's this because like I just did. Whatever you say. I kind of unpressed my bow. So you should do it with a little more pressure on the bow. Remember that. Everything's in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and take this baby out. No, it's going to take a few shots for these strings to settle in and do what they got to do. But, uh, I don't really want to draw it right now. Just want to put tension on it. Just a little. And then I'm going to tighten my limb pockets back all the way down so it'll be back at 70 pounds. I don't have my 75 pound mods on here, so 70 pound mods with 85% let off. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me, let me go ahead and just set it back in here. What I'll do, just so you can see the full, full thing, I'm not going to press it again, but I'm just going to put it in here so I can pull. The screen silencers off of my old screen. Now, I've got a lens in this peep sight, so I'm going to take careful to take that out. And I also, I made that kisser button. So, I may do some adjustment for it before I put it on the screen. But here's old monkey tails on this one. And what I may do is another video later on uh, showing me put the peep side in. One monkey tail. 
I don't know what this is called. Looks like a monkey tail. I'm calling it a monkey tail. You see, it's between the last set of speed knocks and the second set. So that's where I'm going to put it on this string right here. I don't really know what they're going to do for me on the string because I'm not hunting. I'm actually target shooting. I know this is not necessarily the bow that you would pick for target shooting or the lead encore, but hey, that's what I got, so I like what I'm using, so that's what it's all about. You do you and I'll do me. So, In school, you know, I went to no, dude, like I said, I, I did a separate video on the, I went into medical profession. Uh, I was going to make a ton of money, and I realized setting up strength center shot on here instead, use my because my Hemsky like rest is already to go to the set spot from so a pro shop. Where do they most so run? I'm going to go off of it and I thought, to get my center shot set up, so I don't have to go from scratch. One thing. And uh, get my feet put in, and I'm going to leave this in. I don't, I don't take it out. Uh, I'm going to basically just pull it on up here to where the uh, surgery starts, and that's where I'll just leave it, uh, just in case I need it again. Uh, so for right now, uh, that's what it. Is the greatest sign? How uh, do we get ready? You should see a video coming um, with the Encore, just showing uh, it afterwards. Should we uh, uh, be concerned about all the... A microchip medical implant stuff. Here's and, the Encore um, with the strings already on it, but I, you'll I see the video wrong, showing is, is uh, afterwards, together, just like now. But uh, I'll also price, show putting all this stuff back this in so on the tonight, Matthews. If you, uh, uh, that'll be a second video. Be a man to 24, uh, and then if I just breeze right through this, um, that's it for now. Then we can have more.